Hello and welcome back to Rongmar. In today's maths lesson, we're taking a first look at coordinate geometry. Our world for today is to be able to read and plot points in the first quadrant. If you're not quite sure what this means yet, don't worry. By the end of this lesson, hopefully you'll understand exactly what that world means. Let's take a look at something first. What do we call this? Pause the video and write down an answer. Now you might have put down something like a graph or a grid, and you're not entirely wrong, but in coordinate geometry we call this the first quadrant. You might recognize that word quadrant meaning four parts, like a quad bike. So this is the first out of four parts of this graph. It has a vertical axis which runs from the bottom to the top, and a horizontal axis which runs from the left to the right. Do you know what the other name for the horizontal axis and the vertical axis is? Pause the video and write down your answers. So in coordinate geometry, we call the vertical axis the Y axis, and we call the horizontal axis the X axis. If you get confused with this and you're not sure which one's the Y and which one's the X, try to remember that the X axis goes across because X looks like a cross. You might have also noticed that these two lines are numbered. Why do you think they're numbered? What are the numbers for? Pause the video and write down an answer. Well, the reason we have numbers on both the X and the Y axis, and we have no labels, so we know it's not a graph, is because this grid is used to plot coordinates. If you've ever played the board game Battleship, you are already used to using coordinates. You just didn't realize it. The number on the x-axis and the y-axis are used to find a specific point on the grid. There's a very specific way of recording where that point is, so pay attention to this part. The red dot in this grid marks the point 4, 2. Do you see how I wrote that? Bracket, then the x number, then a comma, followed by the y number, close the bracket. When we're using coordinates, we always use the number on the x-axis first, and then the y-axis. You can't swap them around, or else you get a totally different point. Think of it like going along the corridor, along the bottom line, and then up the stairs, up the y-axis. Now you might remember that I said this was the first quadrant, and a quadrant is one part out of four. This picture shows what the whole grid actually looks like. You'll be using these a lot in secondary school. It has four quadrants. You might notice that some of the numbers are minus numbers or negative numbers. Any points below the center point on the y-axis are negative, and any points to the left of the x-axis are also negative. So say for example this point here that I've marked, the coordinates for it would be minus 3, minus 5. But like I said, you don't need to worry about them too much at the moment. They're more important in secondary school. So let's go back to our first quadrant grid. Can you point to where the coordinate 2, 3 is on this grid? Pause the video and give it a try. So this is where you should have your finger. Remember, first is the x number and second is the y-axis number. So we go 1, 2 and then up. One, two, three. Let's try another one. Can you point to where the coordinates four, five are on this grid? Pause the video and give it a try. So here is where you should be. Remember the four is the X axis number. So we go one, two, three, four across, and then we go up the Y axis, one, two, three, four, five, until we hit positive five. Then we mark the point where they meet. Try one more of those for me. Can you mark the point 6, 6 on this quadrant grid? Pause the video and give it a try. So here is where you should be. We went across 6 along the x-axis, and then we went up 6 on the y-axis. And the point where they meet is right here. So just to keep you on your toes, I'm going to show you both the first and the second quadrant together. So this is half of the full picture. Now we have some minus numbers on the x-axis to think about too. Where do you think the point minus 3, 4 
would fall on this grid. Remember that the first number is the X digit and the second is the Y. Pause the video and see if you can find out where this point should be. Well, how did you get on with that one? This is where you should have marked. Remember, the first number being the X just means we go along the X until we hit minus 3. So we go minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. And then, same as before, we go up the Y axis until we hit 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is where the two points meet. Let's do one more of those. First and second quadrant using negative and positive numbers. So can you find out where the point minus 5, 8 would be on this grid? Pause the video and give it a try. So you should have this point right here. Remember, the first number is the x number. So we go minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. And then we go up the y-axis for the second number up until we hit 8. And this is where those two numbers meet. So our wall for today was to plot and read coordinates on a simple quadrant. Plot just means put on, draw. Reading coordinates, well, we can do that now. And we now know that a simple quadrant is just one quarter of a full grid. You're ready to try some practice activities down below to see if you understand what we were talking about today. If you need to rewatch the video, feel free to do that too. That's all we have time for today. Until next time, take care.